Hi everyone, this is Ram Krishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss AP Set 2016 Complex Analysis Question Number 11 from Paper 2. And the question is: If g of z is equal to z cube by z minus 1 into z minus 2 whole square, and if the residues of g at z is equal to 1 and z is equal to or respectively r1 and r2, then the pair r1 comma r2 is equal to dash. And the four options are: Option number one, one comma two; option number two, one comma minus two; option number three. 1 comma 4 and option number 4 1 comma minus 4 so we have to choose one correct option from this 4 and here the question is regarding residues of an function so first we have to recall the residues of a given function so here we have some formula let us see the formula if f of z is analytic and has a pole of order m at z is equal to z naught then the residue at z is equal to z naught is given by residue of f of z at z is equal to z naught is equal to 1 by m minus 1 factorial into limit z tends to z naught d power m minus 1 by dz to the power m minus 1 of z minus z naught whole to the power m into f of z here d power m minus 1 by dz to the power m minus 1 means the m minus 1 the derivative of the given function with respect to z okay whenever m is equal to 1 note that if m is equal to 1 that is z is equal to z naught is a simple pole then the residue at z is equal to z naught is given by the formula residue of f of z at z is equal to z naught is equals to limit z tends to z naught z minus z naught into f of z so we will use these two formulas to solve the given problem so here coming to the solution of the problem here the given function g of z is equal to z cube by z minus 1 into z minus 2 whole square and now the poles of the given function g of z are given by the formula z minus 1 by equating the denominator equal to 0 that is z minus 1 into z minus 2 whole square is equals to 0 and note that here g of z is function where numerator is uh, z cube and denominator is z minus 1 into z minus 2 whole square both numerator and denominator are analytic functions so g of z is clearly an analytic function so the poles of the given function g of z are given by by equating the denominator equal to 0 so from this we get z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2 comma 2 so that is z is equal to 1 is a pole simple pole and z is equal to 2 is a pole of order 2 now by using the above formulas we get whenever z is equal to 1 is a simple pole we have residue of g of z at z is equal to 1 is given by limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 into f of z means here function is g of z so in place of g of z we have z cube by z minus 1 into z minus 2 whole square so z minus 1 z minus will be gets cancelled and as z tending to 1 so substitute does it equal to 1 we get 1 by minus 1 whole square which is equals to 1 say that is r first residue of the given function and similarly we have z is equal to 2 is a pole of order 2 now we will use the formula pole of order m okay so here residue of g of z at z is equal to 2 is given by the formula 1 by m minus 1 factorial here m is equal to 2 so 1 by 2 minus 1 factorial into limit z tends to 2 d power 2 minus 1 by dz to the power 2 minus 1 into z minus 2 whole square into z cube by z minus 1 into z minus 2 whole square so once recall the formula so 1 by m minus 1 factorial into z limit z tends to z naught d power m minus 1 by dz to the power m minus 1 into z minus z naught whole power m into f of z so in place of m we have it is a pole of order 2 so m is equal to 2 and here z naught is nothing but uh, 2 z naught is equal to 2 we have to find the residue at z is equal to z naught means z is equal to 2 and here f of z is nothing but the given function g of z now on simplification we get uh, this is 1 by 2 minus 1 factorial nothing but 1 into limit z tends to 2 d power 2 minus 1 means first derivative that is d by dz of z cube here z minus 2 whole square and z minus 2, 2 whole square can be cancelled so d by dz of z cube by z minus 1 so by using u by v formula we get limit z tends to 2 this is uh, z minus 1 into derivative of z cube is 3z square minus z cube into derivative of z minus 1 with respect to z that is 1 by z minus 1 whole square so on simplification we get that is uh, limit uh, sorry residue of g of z at z is equal to 2 is equal to 
a limit z tends to 2 z 2 into z cube minus 3 z square by z minus 1 whole square as z tending to 2 we have this value is equal to 16 minus 12 by 1 which is equal to 4 that is say residue r2 therefore the pair r1 comma r2 is equal to 1 comma 4 therefore our option number 3 is correct is it clear i hope you like this video if you like the video please share subscribe and press the bell icon for latest updates of my channel thanks for watching